Ooh, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boo coming at you all with a brand new Supreme Dropless video. It's TNF week on this website. We've been waiting for this all season long. I don't know why we were waiting because um this is actually genuinely I think the worst TNF collection I've ever seen. Tremaine, you're enemy number one at this point, bro. I've been nothing but supportive of this dude Tremaine, his whole tenure as Supreme, but like, this is j uh, I don't have words for how mid this shit is, bro. Like, we're gonna talk about it, some of my least favorite items, why this collection sucks so much. Let me know what you all think of it. I've seen a really bad reception to these items on social media, so I'd imagine a lot of you guys agree with me, but we're gonna try our fucking best to like find some kind of scrap of resale in this wasteland of a release oh my god this collection is bad like look what i'm wearing today man all you gotta do just give us the patch we don't need much else bro like honestly that's all people really want i'm gonna hold the rant till the video really begins but yeah let's get into this one drop a like if you guys do enjoy and like i said let me know what you all think of this week let's get into it really fast i forgot to say man um i'm sorry i didn't do a live cop this past week um you guys all know stuff was going down with my family i really do appreciate all the love you guys showed in the last video like it really did mean a lot i got an amazing supportive just group of people on this website so i really do appreciate everybody um and i did record a live cop on my computer do you guys still want me to upload it i was up at my dad's house during it so i couldn't even like record myself or anything would you guys still like to see me do a voiceover because i did record a live cop i did forget to mention also in the intro um i'm not going to be able to do a live cop this thursday i'm actually going to be on a flight to atlanta to help clean out my cousin's house um so i do apologize for that guys so i think tomorrow i'm going to do a voiceover of the live cop I did last week so you guys get some kind of live cop from me this week um, I do really apologize I swear I'll be back to like normal uploading after all this I just I had to go down there to help clean out his house and everything so yeah if you guys want to get my write-ups I'll still be doing for this week of the best items to go for feel free to join my group browser I did them for last week for palace as well which palace has some really good profit um, this Ultimo season is insane I'm gonna do a write-up as well for this palace release this week so yeah come join the group man get a free seven-day trial if you hit the top link in the comment section let's Get into this drop, man. Oh my god, I'm actually upset with this week, bro. Oh, Tremaine, 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 man. Like, this motherfucker, bro. I swear to god. I was so happy when Tremaine joined on Supreme. Because I really did like a lot of the directions he took with Denim Tears. I felt like a lot of the clothing had stories to it and stuff. And even since he's left Supreme, is it just me? Do I just have clouded judgment because I hate this motherfucker now? Or has Denim Tears also fallen off recently? Like, we've all seen the constant sweatsuits and pants and hats of all the same fucking design. But even, like, the stupid stupid Levi's collab I think we can all agree was absolute trash for complex con like bro I don't know what's going on with that man but he is falling off a fucking cliff but even after saying that I've thought this is one of the best supreme seasons we've gotten in so many years there's been a lot of bangers I got to give credit to Tremaine too if he was the one that made them but this TNF collection there is no justifying it like there's there's literally nothing you could tell me to be like oh you know what you're right that I, no there's nothing going for this shit bro it's fucking trash like it's so so bad Let's just hop into these items. Um, so starting it off, we have the Nupsy jacket. And bro, I love TNF Nupsy jackets. It might be my favorite puffy model. I feel like it's just like the best puffy jacket that exists, honestly. And they found a way to fuck it up, of course. So now, first off, my issue with it, um, it doesn't have the black paneling you usually see on a Nupsy jacket. That's one of my favorite features of Nupsy. So I hate these are all one color. I think I would have really enjoyed the paneling. Like maybe a darker brown on the um, cream colorway. The black one, sure, keep it all black. Blue one could really use some paneling. I don't know. That in itself, I'm like, okay, like that's sort of annoying. That is far from my biggest issue with this collab. Um, these are suede. And it's a rain jacket. Do you see how that like doesn't really make sense? Like, uh, why the fuck are we getting 1,200 after fees jackets that you can't even wear in the rain? Nah, bro. No, it just it doesn't make sense. There's no functionality with this garbage. I'm not trying to hate on suede as a material. Sure, you can have a nice suede jacket, but why for TNF? I don't know. The magic for me personally for Supreme TNF collabs is just really cool prints on TNF jackets. Yes, maybe that is like a dead thing nowadays since TNF collabs with everyone doing prints and all that. But I don't know. To me, that's what Supreme TNF is. So when we're getting just these extremely blank, like just the dullest jackets you could fucking imagine, and they put suede on it, so one, we can't fucking afford it. Two, you can't wear it when it rains. I live in Seattle, so I'm just like, fuck this whole collection out the gate. And then the one fucking item, the one item you have to put any type of brain power into, you make it weirdly. What is this, a Modern Warfare 2 call sign, bro? Like, 
Oh, I'm trying not to rant this whole video, but I got fooled, man. I genuinely thought that this was going to be a really good TNF collection based on a lot of the stuff Tremaine's done this season, and it's the worst of all time. I truly say that with confidence. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a break, this Nupsy. It's too much money. Um, I mean, some of these past Nupsies, like the leather ones, have flipped, even when they're really expensive, but keep in mind, those leather ones had actually good colorways, and, I mean, leather makes more sense than this garbage. So, these are skips. Um, this is going to be fast, boys. We're going to just run through these. Where's this fucking god-awful down? Down parka. Um, these are skips. I this is even worse to me. I mean, it's kind of cool to see a fur parka for a TNF collab. It's fur parkas are not something I would ever wear. These always remind me of Drake in like 2008 or some shit. Or maybe you live in like a very cold area, but um, these are always skips in my opinion. And uh, dude, this blue they introduced, whoever was in charge of the colors and thought, like, let's just do the bright you royal what? blue. You're fired. Like, the door's over there, buddy. You're fucking fired. You're canned because that's just the worst color. Who the no, the, if this blue one sells out, I genuinely don't understand fashion as a whole, man. Because uh, who wants that? Who's paying $1,100 for that fucking color of a jacket? I don't know. I'm not trying to take this whole video out on blue. Blue, you're just like a side piece to this whole garbage collection. You don't deserve the hate I'm giving you, but you're going to get it anyways. Because I'm pissed. The duffel bag is okay. It's all right. It's suede, so... Uh, did, did you ever want a suede outdoorsy bag? No, you didn't? Oh, wow, that's so weird. Well, yeah, you got one. So, I, how much money is it? Sub community, get it together, bro. The retails have been out for a fucking decade. You still haven't updated your site. I'm just taking shots at everybody this video. I don't give a fuck. I'm pissed. Um, the backpack's $300. Nope. <laughs> fuck that. Never in a billion years would I pay that much for the bag. You got gloves. Um, they're suede, so... <laughs> no, this whole... Like, you could probably see the pattern here. Let's just keep moving. Shoulder bags, maybe? May like bleh, probably not. I'm not, how much are they? 148. Nope. Nope. Oh, my fucking computer died. Everything's going wrong right now, bro. All right, my fucking computer died. Um, and I put a hat on because I'm just my hair is pissing me off. Everything is pissing me off right now. Am I acting like a child? Probably. I don't care. I don't care. Shoulder bags are next. Um, they're what 148? I think I just saw. Uh, so that's just. Let me take a look at the design on them if you want to call it that. Yeah, it's okay. That's the, literally a slap to the face. That shit's garbage. No. Uh, the duffel key. Chain. This is kind of cool. I'll give it that. Like, it doesn't need to be suede, but a whole duffel bag on a keychain is kind of fun. I, I bet it's a hell of money. I bet it's a lot of money. How much is it? It's 38. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna humble myself real quick. That's a decent retail. Is it gonna resell? Fuck no. It's not gonna resell. It's a little keychain bag. Like, at most, it'll do 55 maybe, which is really not gonna make you any money. But that's the first decent retail from this collection. So, congratulations, Supreme TNF. Um, we got the pants, which just hell no, dude. Like, you take one, just sit down once and your fucking knees are wet like those are skips um and let's oh here we go <laughs> let's move on to the stoner shit the leaf hooded sweatshirt um this would be funny if it was like a one-off item supreme came out with but for like a whole sweatsuit like uh, in a tnf collection i don't know why tnf co-signed this like this shit sucks bro this shit is actually like so uninventive i genuinely think like a 13 year old in his freshman math class would draw up mocks of this type of collaboration for supreme back in like 2014 like this is just this never needed to exist. It's pretty funny. I will say it's pretty funny. If you actually wore this outside though, you would look super goofy. I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I try not to judge people on their clothes, you know, wear whatever you want. But if I see someone walking around with an all over weed leaf hoodie, like, you, what are you doing? Like, what are you, you should not be in the public eye right now because that shit is fucking stupid. If they had like incorporated this into a, a mossy like forest camo and you threw some weed leaves in there, it'd be kind of clever. You know, I could be about it. I'd be like, oh, it's kind of funny little supreme twist but no um just straight pot leaf 158 not the worst retail i'm saying no for the hoodie and these sweatpants i mean they're fun to like someone extremely involved with weed like if you work around weed for like your actual living i could see it being fun i'm not trying to bring the bearer of bad news i know i don't smoke weed anymore so maybe i sound like a 40 year old Twitter fucking talking. boomer okay, or some boomer. shit sorry guys but i just i'm not seeing it on this one um in the t-shirt uh maybe the black color double xl if you held it for a couple months these tnfts usually hold well but i just don't think people are going to want to buy these man um i really don't think so so i'm skipping this whole tnf collection i think it's fucking trash you couldn't tell from the last 15 minutes of me ranting <sighs> okay i think i got it all out i 
I'm good. I think, I think I'm okay now. Let's let's talk about the rest of this week. There's some there's some fun stuff in here, man. Starting it off, we have this 40 model human skull. Um, this is actually the remnants of Tremaine at Supreme. They actually killed him. The Tremaine Emery you now see in present day is a clone. They yeah, they murdered Tremaine. They 3D scanned his skull and they released it to the fans and charged us 48 for it. I gotta give it to Supreme. They're getting pretty creative now. Um, with their accessories. Never thought I'd see a creative director skull actually be up for sale, but you can get this one. I think it's only $48 too. I guess Tremaine wasn't worth too much. Top of the Tremaine jokes, that's probably not funny. Um, this is actually the skull of whoever decided to put the fucking blue colorway in this TNF collection. That shit's fucking trash. But seriously, old shitty jokes aside, this actually is kind of cool, man. Um, I It's a puzzle, so I'm guessing you like craft it together. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, it would look really weird in my setup, do I do it though? I don't know. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to buy anything. Like I'm genuinely going to be on a plane at eight. So I'm probably not gonna email the cop. This is what I would buy this week. I don't really expect much resale. It is sick with the grills. The grills makes this so hard. Um, I do wish there's like maybe a little more Supreme going on with it, which is something that you don't usually say, but as of right now, it just looks like a literal human skull that would just be somewhere in your crib, which is kind of weird. This could have been a really cool incense holder if you had found a way to like open the mouse so the incense was coming out like a blunt or something. like. And you maybe had a that'd be okay I'm sounding like the weed designers now this is a fun one I don't think it's gonna resell though so I think it's pretty skippable it's 48 though which is a good retail next up my favorite item of the week the applique cable knit sweater I love these man um, I just recently had that supreme multi stripe sweater you guys saw me wearing the knit supreme sweaters like this are just always amazing they fit a little bigger I always get mediums they fit me perfectly um, I would probably be buying this for my personal if I didn't already have a ton of sweaters. I low-key really wish they actually made this a cardigan. I know they recently did a cable knit cardigan. I really loved it as well. I ended up selling mine because I had too many cardigans, but um, that has the big Supreme hit on the backside. This would have been dope, in my opinion, uh, for a cardigan. I still really enjoy it though. I don't think there's really gonna be profit. The colorways are just so boring to me. I wish we could have gotten another stripe design. I love when Supreme brings stripes or just some more color to their sweaters because these are just, I don't know, they're a little basic in my opinion, so I don't think there's really gonna be profit here but I do really enjoy these the pink is pretty sick the cream is nice the black even the fucking navy is okay on this one man so not a bad for the personal item but I think it's pretty skippable for profit maybe the black if this does sell it will take it like a month or two and you'll have to hold on to it but sometimes the sweaters can creep up in their price next up the box logo new era hats uh, feels like we get this exact same new era concept every season this isn't a bad one the colorways are bad we got the Subaru pizza um, fitted for you and employees uh, the little Super Bowl patches are always sick they go all the way around which I enjoy um, but I think this is gonna be skippable honestly we've just seen this exact style so many times next up the Wildcat sideline puffer jacket now this is actually a pretty sick item it definitely gives me starter vibes super hard I love this Wildcat on the backside like this is a really sick one I do believe it's a little expensive it is 248 actually not the worst I have to say that's not too bad of a price um, I really don't like this orange colorway too much but the the tan as well as the black are both super sick. I remember seeing this in the lookbook and being like, fuck yeah. Um, this is a dope jacket, honestly. We have seen them do similar kind of sideline puffer items that actually resold for a lot of money in the future. This isn't gonna do much right away. Um, it is gonna be a hold item and it's a bit risky, so I don't know if I could really guarantee profit for it. I think it's skippable for a lot of people, but we've seen this similar style item with like stars, I remember where there was one, going for like three something, like up to 400 even, so I would say the white color I want to say is better it's just it's a little more fun the black is more wearable if I were to buy this though I do think I would go with this white colorway it's probably gonna sell for around 300 or so right away which is not a lot after fees it's almost nothing after fees so yeah it's definitely gonna be a hold but there's some potential I'm I, I don't really recommend it for most though honestly um, the classic logo chunky ribbed beanie god is a long name for no reason it's just a ribbed beanie like can we just call it that where the fuck did chunky come in fat shaming beanies now this is outrageous um I did I did say last season a very similar beanie would do well. It's not doing well, at least not in the color I fucking bought it. So I got no clue what to say for these. Um, I do like, they look really nice, honestly. They look very comfortable as well. The black and the green, I really like. I love this green, but people seem to hate the green beanie. I don't know, man. Like the purple is gonna somehow pop or something. Um, I'm not gonna risk it on this. Like, I don't know. They, they're trying to do this beanie style every season. And yeah, the fold over beanies don't do as well. And I'm still scarred from the rainbow beanie. So I don't even wanna talk about beanies right now. Um, there's some potential of like a longer hold, like several months in like a black color if you wanted the multi-cart not a bad one um the velvet paisley cam cap mm -hmm. 
finally something to talk about with some substance man if you were going for this release i do think i would actually double cart these we see a lot of these red cam caps pop off having the paisley look to it just i'm really confident for this the black one's also really good i would buy both of them if you're going for this drop for their retails 58 fuck we just don't get to have fun here man that's expensive god damn it um so they are gonna be a longer hold for sure like most cam caps are but i would not be shocked to see these getting up to 90 plus maybe a hundred dollars um people love the paisley patterns especially for hats and stuff especially down in la i don't know why people in la love red paisley so much it's a weird coincidence man i don't know um yeah these are really sick though honestly i really enjoy them i think these are going to be really good holds if you remember those other paisley cam caps they did those all are at 100 plus um so yeah great cop this week even though it's more expensive get both colors i'd recommend let's talk about the boonies as well um again i actually see some potential on these man i don't know just paisley really does hit for supreme nicely over time like it always is a really good aging um pattern so even though these are also expensive if you had a big budget this week looking for something to go for this drop i genuinely think two camp caps two of these paisley boonies and large xl because we know the small mediums ain't gang banging like that the large xl hats black and red i think these are going to age really nicely over time these will probably get to 100 as well um so that's a pretty solid cart does that get you free shipping i don't know you do the math honestly i'm too lazy to but i feel like it does it should be fucking close so find maybe one other small item to throw in the cart if you want um this is a really solid one though both of these paisley hat sets we got the shearling reversible pullover um the only one worth even talking about is the camo this is like the literally enlisted in the army camo it's not even like a fun like oh i go hunting camo like you better be fucking stationed somewhere if you're rocking this this is actually scary to wear i don't like that camo usage um the other reverse side's nice i don't think these are gonna flip though um it's just not the right camo uh we got the tartan flannel hooded shirt a nice little hoodie flannel <laughs> that was Great commentary, Boone. What the fuck am I saying? I wish they just kept this a flannel, honestly. Like, I, it's actually a really nice flannel. Just a little baby old English hit. That's all we ever want from the flannels with Supreme. This is beautiful. I really like this blue color, but the blue hood. Ugh, like, why, man? Like, what are we doing? Um, I would really enjoy this one if it was just a normal flannel. The hood ruins it for me. The red, I feel like if any of them, but I never really love this Christmassy flannel color in red, so I think these are skippable. It's a nice personal. We got the Shearling camp caps as well, maybe in the black color. Um, the red scares me a little more on this. Wait, reversible? Oh, shit, so can you like, Okay, that's actually really cool. Not too expensive, I hope. 54, you know what? I would maybe throw this one in that cart as well, man. Black color, I think these are gonna hold nicely. We've seen some of these Polar Tech um, camp caps age really well over time, so I enjoy those. And then finally, the ear flap beanie. I think these are skippable. What the fuck are they? So that's gonna do it for the week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I can't do a live cop this week. I'm gonna be Atlanta, like I said. So it's. I swear after this week, bro, I'm gonna go crazy on the videos because I really do owe you guys. And I'm getting annoyed. I've just been so off track like the holidays the shit going on in my family um shit is going to be coming back to normal see how it's going to get going again guys just give me after this weekend and i got y'all but thank you to everyone that watched this video all the way through not the best week but i really think um the paisley hats as well as maybe the black polar tech cam cap are your best bets for profit so i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy boom man i'm out peace